Hello, well, hello, buddy. Can you help? Can I help what? Stuck. Oh, big L. I see that you got the ball stuck in the basketball hoop. Well, you know why? That ball is too big to go through that hoop. Oh, you need a, you need a ball more like this size, big L. I'll, I'll get it out for you. But that does remind me of what Jesus said today. What? He said that we, people, we've got to go through a narrow gate. I don't get it. Well, Big Al, you know, if it's easy to be crabby and selfish and mean. But that's not the way to be fully alive and happy. Oh, if we really want to be happy, we really want to be alive and joyful. We've got to do the hard work to forgive. Be thankful. Be kind. Otherwise, we're so filled with ourselves that well, we'll never find the real life that God has for us. And I know people, Big Al, who work so hard on that, that this is how big their ball would be. Whoa. They, they're kind, Big Al. They're generous. They're thankful. Oh, they're so alive because they're not all filled with themselves. My ball. You want to see your ball? All right. We'll see your ball. Now, you go ahead and close your eyes. You turn away, and let's see Big Al's ball. Okay, Big Al, take a look now. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys and girls, I don't know if Big Al's ball is really that big. But it's still true. We have to be careful that we're not all filled with ourselves, or else we'll miss life that's there. Oh, he's coming to, whoa, too big. Big Al was just joking. I, I don't think your ball is really quite that big. Good. But it's a good reminder that we need to practice being thankful, not crabby, kind, not selfish, joyful, not mean. And Big Al, that allows us to know fullness of life, to be really happy and joyful now and each now of our lives. Yay!